Hello guys and welcome to another one of my little videos. This video will be part 5 out of 3 of my uh, Star Wars on Home Video collection series. So in this video I will be doing a couple of follow-ups uh, on some of the things that I showed you in my last video. First off, this box set that uh, Sebastian from Germany uh, sent to me. Uh, and I told you the whole story of how my uncle from Munich had it when I was a kid and I always wanted it, but it got lost. Uh, and it's a pretty rare release. It actually uh, was postal order only, this one. Uh, you could only uh, order it from uh, through like uh, Sat 1 uh, TV station advertising. Uh, so it, it's fairly rare compared to some of the other 1995 uh, box sets in that it includes the uh, classic Creatures uh, Return of the Jedi documentary. This tape actually is still sealed. But there was a problem with it. I wasn't quite sure, but then I looked at some pictures of it. Uh, and yes, uh, just like this other box set uh, that is also from the same year, uh, but this one only held the three movies in uh, cardboard uh, boxes. Uh, but this one has this slip-on cover. And I, I was pretty sure I remembered um, this one having the same thing uh, when uh, my uncle had it, uh, but it came without it. So I went hunting on German eBay and I found this one. And this, as you can see, is the exact same box set, the exact same tapes, but it does have this box that goes over the top of it. And I, uh, and I have to thank Sebastian once again, uh, because it's thanks to him that I have this, because the seller uh, wouldn't send it outside of Germany. So I wrote to Sebastian uh, if he could, uh, if I could get it through him. Uh, and he was gracious enough to get it for me. And he didn't even want anything in uh, return. So I'm very thankful to him. Thank you, Sebastian. Okay, next bit. I already showed this in a video about 8mm film viewers. But actually it's uh, part of my Star Wars home video collection. Because it is indeed uh, an official home video release of The Empire Strikes Back. Again, German. Uh, this is because... Uh, like I, uh, I already explained in um, some of my previous videos, uh, here in the Czech Republic, during the communist time and the Soviet occupation, uh, we didn't get Western movies or American movies in particular. Uh, so uh, most of Czech Star Wars stuff comes uh, from the 90s and later. Uh, so we never got like 8 millimeter releases of Star Wars or uh, anything like that. And the closest country to us uh, that did get those was uh, West Germany. So that's why a lot of my uh, home video stuff is from Germany. Now, the next thing I uh, also already showed you in uh, the last video was this laser disc of The Empire Strikes Back. It's, of course, the special edition, but I really love the uh, artwork on this. So that's the 1997 special edition Laserdisc. But this week, I got my hands on these. Again, uh, this is the 1995 release. French, in this case. Uh, France also... Uh, fairly close to us, but mainly it's part of the European Union, so I can uh, order stuff from there, just like Germany, uh, without any additional taxes or uh, custom payments and stuff. Uh, and uh, again, we never had Laserdiscs here at all, 
uh, let alone Star Wars laser discs. So uh, Germany and France are the closest countries uh, that did have those. So here I ordered the French 1995 laser disc edition. Uh, you can probably hear in my voice that um, these are pre these are properly heavy because uh, they are all CAV two disc editions. So let's have let's see it in more detail. Uh, what I find so wonderful about these is that compared to the tapes. The colors are really nice, but also like because they're so big, you can really see all the brush strokes and stuff on the on the actual painting. So that's really beautiful. Okay, here's the back compared to the VHS release. Um, but of course, as it's a two disc laser disc version, we also get this beautiful inside spread. So these are in uh, these sort of paper sleeves, uh, but they do have a window in the middle. So pretty much the same on the other side. Now, uh, these, of course, you can see you get R2 and C3PO. You get that same picture on the spine of the VHS. I got these uh, really cheap, so they're not in the best condition, but uh, I still love them. Yeah, here's uh, side three and side four, uh, same pictures, same everything. Okay, next one, we have The Empire Strikes Back. Again, let's compare it to its VHS counterpart. And again, let's have a look at the inside of it. Really beautiful, I love these. Okay, let's have a look at the discs here. Again, you got Chewbacca on the Empire Strikes Back laser disc. Same as on the spine of the Empire Strikes Back VHS. And the second disc, again, is the same as the first one. And finally, Return of the Jedi. Again, compared to the VHS. Wonderful. Here is the disc, side one. And we get Master Yoda on here, just like on the spine of the VHS release. Side two, pretty much the same. And again, disc two, same story. I absolutely love these 1995 releases. It's probably for nostalgia reasons, because that's that's what my uncle had, and I loved it as a kid. So, yeah. Now that's it for my uh, home video collection. But I decided to show you something else from my collection that's very closely related to these Laserdisc releases. And that's my Star Wars soundtrack vinyl records.
This one again is German. And it has this beautiful spread inside. Uh, I don't think the, the discs are really worth showing here. They're pretty much run of the mill black vinyl, just like this one. This one, I think, is uh, the uh, original from uh, 1977. Uh, I, I got it pretty cheaply, I think, uh, considering its age. It's not in the greatest condition, it's, you know, but uh, yeah, lovely. And let's compare these two together, because as you can see, the outside cover is quite different. The back side has the same picture, but the German version has, has it in blue, whereas on the English version, which I, I think this is... Uh... No, this is the US version. The, on the US version, uh, it's black and white. But on the inside... They're exactly the same. Again, the, the US one is uh, on regular run-of-the-mill black vinyl. Unlike this one. Now, this is a modern release. Um, and let me show you here. Um, these are picture discs. So, again, that same picture that uh, you can see on the back of the packaging for the original on one side, and then on the other side, it's the Death Star. And that's disc one. Uh, these are all uh, double disc releases. And here we have disc two. Han and Chewie on one side and this concept art of the Battle of Yavin on the other. Really cool stuff. Next we have The Empire Strikes Back. Now uh, again this this one is not vintage, it's a modern re-release. But it's got this really cool spread inside. And not only that, but it has this little booklet. Isn't that super cool? Wow. Just lovely. Now these, however, are not on plain black vinyl. Let's have a look here. It's actually on this sort of golden vinyl. Well, calling it golden is pretty generous, but uh, yeah. Next we have Return of the Jedi. Same story, it's a modern reprint. of the uh, original release. But that's uh, kind of nice about vinyl, that you can actually get uh, a modern reprint of that uh, old version. You can't get a modern reprint of a Laserdisc or VHS. Again, same sort of gold vinyl. And uh, Return of the Jedi is actually only one disc. And the last couple of releases that I have here uh, are the two of the 
Disney sequels. And uh, one of them is, uh, well, actually, let me skip over that one first and uh, just show you. Uh, I got this uh, for Christmas from my girlfriend, uh, which, while uh, I'm not a big fan of The Last Jedi, I was still very happy about. Uh, it was a really nice present, and uh, she was pretty lucky in getting one that I didn't have yet. So. It's got this spread in the middle, and it's got the disc in a black sleeve like this. Again, it's this one's uh, regular black vinyl. And again, this is a two disc release, but it also has this booklet inside. I'm not gonna list through the whole thing. Well, maybe just quickly. This isn't very, <laughs> this isn't very practical. But the last one I have here is pretty interesting. Uh, and it's this Force Awakens soundtrack. And uh, again, got the insert. This one also has a booklet. Again, flip through it quickly. That's really cool about vinyl and laser disc that you have get these big format images. But what makes this release really so special is the holographic disc. You probably won't be able to see it here because it really needs uh, a direct light pointed at it. But I did make a video about this one when I got it, so you can check it out right here. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to support this channel, you can do so by becoming a patron or donating directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below. I'm very grateful for all the help. Thank you guys very much. Thanks for watching, and may the Schwartz be with you.